Hey, how's it going? Kenny here, and welcome back to Non-League to Giants. And up in today's episode, we have two massive games. We've got York away first, we're sitting second in the league. And then we have Notts County at home, we're third in the league, just two days later. So yes, we'll do very well to get two wins out of two in today's episode. Four points out of today's episode, and I'll be ecstatic with that. The good news is, going into this episode today, we are still sitting top of the league. So I say it's top versus second, then top versus third. We are three points clear of York at the top, and we're six points clear of Notts County in third place. Well, of course, at the end of the episode here today, we could be sitting three points behind York at the top of the table. So let's hope we get at least one win in the, uh, in the episode here. Realistically, the best chance we've got to win is the second game at home to Notts County. First of all, we're away to York, but we beat York away from home here in the first game. We will be guaranteed a six-point gap at the top at the half point, uh, halfway stage of the season. So things are going really well in the season. Hasn't been going. It's been going a little well since the last episode, but not um, not fully convincing. It has to be said. So of course, in the last episode, there we had two one-one draws away to Stockport and Oldham. We followed that up. With another 1-1 one -one draw, this time at home, Dagenham and Redbridge, which was rather disappointing, it has to be said. We won it up in the game as well through Roberts in the 25th minute. They got a penalty in the 86th minute, and Jacob Mendy made it 1-1, so that was really disappointing. We did, however, beat uh, Stockport at home in the FA Cup first round replay, 3-1, so that was very nice. We was actually freed it up in the uh, first 39 minutes there. Roberts with a goal in the third minute. Asante went from hero to zero in this game. So he scored a brace, but then he got sent off in the second half. Luckily for us, though, we held on to a nice 3-1 lead, even with down to 10 men. And uh, we fully deserved the win against Stockport there. After that game, though, we had only our second defeat in the league. Our first away from home as well. We lost away to Torquay 3-2, which was rather shocking. We were 1-0 down through Corey Andrews in the 12th minute. Lachlan and Brooks scored two goals in the space of a minute, though, to make it 2-1 to us in the 30th and 31st minute. Unfortunately for us, though, we gave away another penalty. And Mason Bloomfield scored in the 34th minute. And then, a blast from the past. Reese Grant, a player I sold back in the Ranarama South there. He scores to make it 3-2 in the 86th minute. And effectively won the game for Torquay. So that's rather disappointing. We did, however, back that up, though. With two 4-0 wins. A home to Haven to Waterlooville. Our fellow uh, promotion uh, promotion team there from the Ranarama South, of course. Thomas, Brooke with another brace in the game, and Joe Cook with goals there. And we then beat Harrogate 4-0 away as well, which is another very nice win. Also, all those goals came in the last 20 minutes of the game there. Ben AC, Roberts with a goal, and Asante with another brace in this game. We then faced Gateshead at home in the FA Cup second round, and we drew 2-2, and I was... Uh, yeah, I was very disappointed about this. So I really have thought we had a great chance of getting through this tie. Uh, we got 1-0 down in the 36th minute. We did have mount a, a, a sensational comeback, though. Josh Thomas got a penalty in the 87th minute. We had, what I got what I thought was the winner in the 92nd minute to make it 2-1. Unfortunately for us, though, Tom Allen had other, other ideas, and he made it 2-2 in the 94th minute. That was devastating. Lucky for us, we beat them in the replay. I'll get to that in a second. We lost our third game of the season before that, though. We lost away to Ultringham 2-1, which is another shocking defeat. Chris Jay made it 2-0 in the first 25 minutes. Josh Thomas got a penalty, but we lost the game 2-1 there. But going into this episode, a bit of a good run of form, finally. Three wins on the bounce. We beat Gateshead away in the second round replay, as I said, 2-1. So that was very nice. Dinze and Williams with the goals there. And with that win against Gateshead, of course, we're in the FA Cup third round now, and all the big boys enter the third round. We got to play Aston Villa in the third round. Of course, I'll feature that in the next episode. I cannot um, avoid Aston Villa. We are at home as well. Um, I was hoping for a way, obviously, get some uh, get some money for Dover, go into one of these uh, big stadiums, of course. But unfortunately, we got given the uh, the home tie. I guess, uh, given the home tie, um, I guess we've got a glimmer of hope of actually getting through. Um, I don't think it's a very big glimmer of hope, it has to be said, because I hope I think Aston Villa will beat us comfortably. But away from home, I don't think we've got hope in hell. But at home, at least we can think that maybe we can pull off a miracle there and get to a fourth round of the FA Cup. How amazing would that be? But yeah, we're in the third round of the FA Cup, and we get to face Aston Villa, which is very nice. And I'll set out a feature in the next episode. After that Gateshead win, we played Aylesbury at home in the FA Trophy. Third round this time. Uh, ben AC, Willie, uh, Wilson and Roberts with goals there. And just for the episode, we had a good win away to Darlington 2-0, which is very nice. Stopped the rot away from home as well. We lost two of the last three away games before then. And we got another win away to Darlington. So that was very, very nice. Also, some transfer news to talk of. Well, Enoch Asante, of course, he, uh, he said he was going to explore his uh, options at the end of his current contract. Uh, well, he's been sold. He's gone to Chesterfield for 23 and a half k Um... He really wanted to leave us, and he was going to leave free at the end of the season anyway. And uh, he wanted to go to Chesterfield. I, I don't fully understand Asante's thinking, to be honest, because us and Chesterfield are in the same division. Uh, we're actually higher than Chesterfield in the league, of course. We're higher than everyone in the league. We're top of the league, of course. So, yeah, I don't get his reasoning behind that, to be honest with you. But he's gone to um, Chesterfield nonetheless. He had a brilliant season for us, of course. 15 goals and 6 assists in 19 games this season. So he's absolutely flying. But saying that, 
Lachlan Brook has uh, really made that position his own as well. He's uh, a good replacement for Asante. I tried to bring in another striker to effectively replace Asante, but unfortunately there's not really anyone out there. But Lachlan Brook has really stepped up, so uh, I'm not missing Asante too much. Um, but it wasn't nice to lose him, of course, but he's, he's a moaning myrtle. He, wa he wants to leave. I don't, know what, I don't know what he's thinking, to be honest with you. Why do he want to leave to go to another Van national team, a team of below us in the division? I have no idea. Uh, he's fueled by money, I guess. Anyway, he's on 1.3k a week now, so probably that's something to do with it. He was on £300 a week for us. I think he was even less than that. I think he was like £250 a week. So he's been given a big pay rise at Chesterfield, but... Next season, he may be playing in a lesser division than us. But anyway, he has left us. Time to move on without Asante. No one has joined us. Top of the league, as I said. Got to face York today and Notts County as well. Second and third. Let's get into the first game and away to York. We start off the uh, the new season at home to York, of course, where he drew 1-1. We looked like a disappointing result at the start, but now they're sitting in second in the league. It doesn't look as bad, it has to be said. Also, in recent times, I've changed the formation. I have gone to um, I've gone to a 4-3-3 formation, as you can see here. Everything else is exactly the same, of course. All the uh, all the roles and everything like that. Exactly the same as the 4-4-2. But we weren't getting the results of the 4-4-2 the last few games. So I decided to switch up to this. And we've got three on the balance, which is very nice. In terms of today's game, missing a few players, it has to be said. Of course, only two days before these uh, between these two games here as well, which is disappointing. So Dinsay, he's not very fit at all. So going to have him fully fit for the Notts County game. Same with Josh Thomas as well. And Chart is another key player of ours. Uh, Dean Agus injured, of course. He's just a backup player. Ben AC is injured as well. A player who's really come, on his, uh, come to his own in the, uh, the last couple of months here. So disappointing to miss, what, four key players, has to be said. But, of course, we've got two days before the Notts County game. And um, these things happen, unfortunately. York away from home. Can we make a big step towards promotion here and beat York away from home? Well, let's find out. Okay, here we go. Away to York. Well, York are playing with a 4-4-2 today, so... We'll see if we'll have to switch to the 4-4-2 or not to, uh, to counter-attack them. We shall see. 10 minutes in. Not much has happened, though, but it's only 10 minutes after all. Uh, please remember, guys, if you like this video, to hit that like button for me. And also, if you're new around here, then hit that subscribe button as well. I really appreciate it. Well, 26 minutes in, we finally get our first highlight of the game. It's Matthews with a free kick. He's got 10 assists so far this season in the league. And the record is 13 from, uh, from last season. So, I think he's going to break it this season unless he gets injured. Anyway, here's Roberts. Been a very dull game so far. Here's Wilson playing the centre-back today. He's done out to be quite a decent low signing after all, Wilson. What is Baptiste doing? He could have just picked up the ball. Here's Sanders. I'm liking that open goal, but no player is uh, getting the ball here. Hammer wins the header. Here's Williams. To Nelson. Not the Pharrell Williams you're thinking of. It's a different Pharrell Williams. Anyway, here's Brook. To Mundell. Three and one on one. Go on, Mundell. Oh, get in. Get in. Not usually where we see Mundell, but. So great composure there, Romain Mundell. He's part of the uh, midfield three these days. Him and Roberts are very, very similar. And um, yeah, Mundell's done really well there. Playing as Mazzala. He's run through one and one. And we take the lead in this big game away to York. It's a long way to travel here to York. It's a long way to travel to Darlington as well. But the coach back must have been a, a buzzing sight away from Darlington to Dover. How long will that take, Darlington to Dover? Must be about seven, eight hours or so. Massive trek. And also York. I think that's going to take a long time as well. So hopefully... We can send the boys home very happy today. We're taking one step into this game as, as it stands. One to up and in. Matthews with a corner here. And Wilson hits the bar. Brooks there. Open goal. He scored. Get in. I thought he might be offside. What a start to this game. 2 up in the first 32 minutes. The first 26 minutes were dull as ever. But the last five minutes here, we've turned this game on his head. And we're taking the lead 2-0 away to York. Happy days. But Wilson hit the bar with his, uh, the initial attempt there. The keeper still sitting on the floor. Lachlan Brook. First to react, and we're 2-0 up. Well, 38 minutes in, we've got another highlight here. It's really live enough in this first half here. Can't believe we're 2-0 up in this game. Absolutely amazing. Here's Brook. To Mundell. Can we make it 3-0 here? Mundell, already scored one. Oh, he scored another. Get it. How has that gone in? How has that gone in? What a, what a start to this game. What on is going on? Oh, my word. Well, if we don't win this game from this point, I'll be very, very disappointed. How has that gone in, though? What a bizarre tight angle. What's the keeper done here? He just blasted it, didn't he? He's absolutely smashed it. Did he go in off the keeper? He might have done well. I don't know what happened there. But we're freeing it up in the game. I know that much. And uh, wow. What a 10-minute period that was for us. Here's Kuya. Crosses it in. Oh, no. They've got to go back. But if you're going to concede a goal at any point, at least be freeing up in the game. So, yeah. Still got a healthy lead, of course. But wow. Four-goal thriller in the first half here. But three of those four goals are for us. They just scored a goal back, but still, 3-1 is a very healthy lead taking a half-time. It's not what I was expecting, so very, very happy with that. 
Anyway, here goes the second half. Let's hope they're not on to a uh, sensational comeback here. It'll be very nice. Next goal could be crucial in this game. I think it 4-1 would we'll be cruising again. It goes 3-2. I am very nervous. They're very nervous. And here's Kuya with another quarter. Oh, my word. Well, this is definitely a great game for the neutrals. Pretty much every single highlight's been a goal. And uh, our 3-0 lead is looking very, very slender now. It's now 3-2. That is very disappointing. Oh, dear. This is problematic. Well, Wilson's having a poor game there, and he's nervous. So I'm going to bring on the uh, the big man, Dinzei. He is tired, but he needs. Uh, we need him for this game, of course. With it's three two now, it's very nerve wracking. Um, well, Brooks still having a good game, of course, an eight point five out there. Williams ain't doing great. Um, you know, I'm going to take off Roberts as well. Put in, uh, put in Charles there. He's nervous. Charles is nervous, but he'll do all right. He'll do all right. Charles is a key player for us as well. He's more defensively minded than um, than Roberts as well. So hopefully, he can add a little bit of stability there. But we're still. The better team in the game, it has to be said, but 3 2 is a very, very slender lead. It has to be said. As I said, we, if we draw or lose this game from being 3 0 up, I'll be devastated. Absolutely devastated. So I'm very quiet since that second goal for York went in, though. Now I say that, they're back on the highlight. A Coley. He played for me for Man United. I'm pretty sure it's not Caleb Coley, though. I don't see how York would get him. Oh, my word. Kuya. Looks like quite the player for York, this Kuya. The last time he played me, he's uh, popped up quite a lot as well. But for me, with uh, Hereford last uh, FM, he was useless. Anyway, four minutes to go here. It's been a very, very quiet game since that uh, since that second goal for York winning, as I said. Can we hold on to this win here? You know, I don't I don't really care if we win the game 3-2. As long as we win the game, I'm happy with that. Yeah, I get to I'm happy with that. I'm, I'm ecstatic with that, in fact, because although we were 3-0 up and almost blew a three-goal lead, we beat York away from home in a massive, massive uh, clash at the top there. And as I said, we're guaranteed to be six points clear at the top now, which is amazing. And if we beat Notts County at home in the next game, then... Wow, we really are cruising at the top of the league, which is absolutely brilliant, of course. Also, in terms of the job offers, don't know what's going on. Still yet to uh, impress anyone with this uh, display with Dover here. Ne yet to receive a single job interview yet, so very, very bizarre. I am now training to um, uh, get my next coaching badge, which is um, Continental C License. Yeah, studying for a Continental C License, so maybe I can start improving my attributes soon and uh, start impressing some... Uh, some bigger clubs, I guess you could say. But yeah, it's a bit surprising the fact that I haven't received a single job interview yet, seeing as I got promotion from the Van Arnhem South in the first season and now sitting top of the Van Arnhem National. But yeah, anyway, who needs a job interview? Things are cruising with Dover right now. Uh, we're six points clear at the top. We've got Notts County at home next. Can we make this episode into a dream episode? We'll find out in a second. Okay, so what a great win that was away to York. Of course, we were 3-0 up and only won the game 3-2 in the end. But at the end of the day, it's a win away to York, second in the league, 3-2. So... Got to be very happy with that. But can we back that up with a win at home to Notts County now? be very nice. As I said, it's only two days since that last game there. So, obviously, some very, very tired players in the squad. But still, we did a job there away to York with uh, some players missing. Got some of those players back starting today as well, such as Dinsey, uh, Thomas, and Charters, the name three there. Obviously, some players missing as well. Mundell, who scored two goals in that game. Pretty sensational. Uh, he's not fully fit, of course. Half fit there. Nelson as well. Matthews, Genesini. Carlson as well missing. Ben Acey is just back from injury, but not nowhere near fully fit. So missing some players for today's game as well, but can't make any excuses here. Notts County played two days ago as well. Notts County at home. Can we make it two wins out of two in the episode? We'll find out in a sec. Okay, well, here we go. A similar first half to that York game, please, boys. That would be very, very nice. Very nice indeed. Well, start off in the first 10 minutes here. I'm not liking what I'm seeing so far in terms of the match momentum. Only 22% possession. What is going on here, boys? Oh, dear. Well, uh... Well, we'll see this highlight first, but changes might be, might be needed here. I'm not liking that 22% possession. I know we play with a counter-attack style, but this is uh, this is taking the mickey. I'm worried already. I'm worried here in this highlight as well. Here's Hepburn Murphy. Name all familiar with. What's all the double-barrel double -barrel surnames, that's for sure. Hall Johnson as well. Smith heads the ball wide, but yeah, I'm not liking the look of this... Uh, this first that you see here, Notts County got by far the match momentum here. And uh, they're keeping all the ball. 74% possession. Things need to change here. Well, I just made a slight tweak to the tactics. Notts County are dominating the ball, but it's all in their own half. So they're not really doing it uh, dangerously at all. I've started to tell the players to go even more direct, to be honest with you. So hopefully we can see a little bit of a change in the, uh, the match momentum here. We shall see. It's Eastham. Kicks it long towards Hepburn Murphy. Maguire looked like he was sleeping, but he did, did get the ball. Here's Williams. Part, nice pass to Brooke there. Come on, boys. Where are you going, Brooke? Where are you going? Out to Williams again. Bit of a 1-2 there. Having Brooke and Williams. Here's Williams in the box. 
Robert's got a score. He does score. Get in. Get in there, Roberts. Well, I just changed things five minutes ago. If within five minutes, we have scored. Roberts with the goal there. Told the players to get even more direct to just try and get past over, uh, past uh, not scouting, I guess. As I said, they're dominating the ball, but all in their own half. We're pushing them up very hard at the pitch. So, yeah, go direct, get the goal, and that is exactly what we've done. Williams and Brooke with uh, quite a long one-two there, and it finishes off with Roberts with an absolute tap-in. So that is very, very nice. Still, it's not been a great first half by any means, and uh, not scouting with a corner now. Anyone have any ideas what the keeper's doing there? Because I don't. No idea what we, well, we led the game for about approximately five minutes. Brilliant. What is the keeper doing though? What is Isted doing there? He's on the floor before the ball's been headed. Look at him. There he is. What's he doing? Oh well. Well, one-one in the game now. It's been a well, it's been an abysmal first half. It has to be said. In terms of chances created, absolutely abysmal. So. Think I need to make another change at half time because this ain't good enough, is it? Twenty nine percent possession. Well, it is worrying a little bit. That that is worrying. Um, yeah, shocking first half. That absolutely shocking. Well, I've changed to a four four two at half time to hopefully get a bit well. Oh my word! Well, as I'm talking, a minute into the second half, we got an injury. Taylor Charters is off it. That's just uh, my word. Anyway, what I'm saying is at half time I changed to a 4 4 2 there. And uh, I brought Williams off and brought Matthews on. Uh, Williams is hard done by to be taken off the pitch. He's got 7.3. Of course, he got an assist for the first goal, but had to sacrifice someone. But now Taylor Charters got an injury. And he's the only player who can play left midfield currently. Uh, so that's a problem, isn't it? Now what do I do? Well, Hammond can play left midfield. So that's going to have to do. Oh, what a devastating start to the second half. As I said, yeah, changed to a 4 4 2. Hopefully, get a bit of a. Uh, well, a bit of footing in the game, I guess you could say. Because that first half was abysmal for both teams. And Notts County are still dominating us. What is going on here? I said they're dominating. They're dominating, us. They're dominating the ball, aren't they? They're not dominating us in every other, any other department. So, Well, I made another change in the game. I decided to uh, to try and play Notts County's game here and go in a possession style. See, that makes a difference. Because what I have changed in the game has not worked too well, it has to be said. And 20 minutes to go. Are we finally getting a little bit of momentum in the game? It's been rather poor so far, it has to be said. Very poor indeed. I do say I'll change it to the Notts County style, but then um, he does that. But anyway, here's Brooke with the ball. Thomas! Get in. He scores. Get in. Get in. If the first thing you did didn't go all right, change it again. That's what, that's my motto anyway. Just just pray and hope. That is uh, that is Kenny's motto to foot manager. Uh, well, not not quite that uh, that one way I get. I guess I know some things, but not 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 enough. Not enough. But anyway, I decided to change things to see um, if we play like Notts County, we can do... Um, do well in the game, and that's uh, proven well there because Thomas has scored the goal, which is very nice to see. But now here come Notts County with a corner again. Obviously, they scored their first goal from a corner. Um, I hate that pause in play when there's a corner because I always think there's going to be a handball or something. Oh, Matthews just uh, completely fell asleep there. I have no idea what he's doing. He's probably fainted or something. No idea. And now it's 2-2. Well done, Matthews. Everyone applaud Matthews for that brilliant piece of play there. Matthews, well done, pal. That was absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible, mate. I love that. What's Matthews here? What is he doing? Oh, hello. Oh, I'll sleep. It's time to sleep. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. He wins his tackle, but Chadwick, well, he's outside the area, but it's a pretty simple goal, it has to be said. Well, this has been a disastrous game for us, this one. Absolutely disastrous. Anything I've tried here has just not gone right at all. Anyway, here we go again with this possession style of uh, play here, which we never play with. It's Hepburn Murphy. I've seen his name quite a lot in today's game, which I don't like to see. Lindley. Is that a joke? He has to be offside, surely. He is, isn't he? Oh, my God. Thank goodness for that. I, I couldn't believe what I was seeing there. Oh, if that genuinely happened, I'd be absolutely fuming. We can't actually even see. Well, he's a mile. He's absolutely mile offside. No fear there. No fear. But anyway, this game has not gone well from a tactical perspective for me. It has to be said. I have uh, made a few boo-boos here. The first thing I did did not work. The second thing I did did not work either. Just seems like I don't know what I'm doing. Here come Notts County again. Don't play with a possession style, Kenny. What are you doing? We don't play possession style football, so what on earth am I doing here? Anyway, it's too late now for, uh, for changing, in my opinion. So let's hope for the best here. We could lose the game here yet, though. Here's Hepburn Murphy, the man who's everywhere in today's game. Any danger of a tackle put in, boys? Zay wins the header. Roberts wins the header, but he had more time than that. Much more time than that. 
I'm really, I'm really worried here. Is Lindley? Oh my word! What is going on? Yeah, thank you. All right. Isted with the ball now. Roll it out to him or something. Go on. Oh, I told you not to kick it long. Didn't I? But kick it long. Kick it, please kick it long. Thomas. It's a terrible game. Reggie scores. Get in. Get in. Get in. Well, with one minute to go, do we deserve to win this game? Absolutely not. If we win the game, though, will I care? Absolutely not. Get in. It's dead. He went, he went away from my uh, my tactical instructions there. Uh, but I'm glad he did. I'm glad he did because Isted clearly knows what he's doing more than I do. And he just got an assist there for the goal. This is how we normally play. We distribute quickly and uh, like that. But I decided to change things. But anyway, whilst I'm still celebrating, we've got a highlight straight from kickoff here. And six minutes of added time. Where does that six minutes come from? Is this the World Cup? I don't know. What is going on here? Anyway, we, this is ridiculous. Oh, Dinze is there to cover. Come on. Don't don't concede straight away. Not straight away at least. Goodness sake. Here's Maguire to right. Back to Maguire. Maguire, don't be an idiot. Okay, here we go with our possession style again. Here's Roberts. Acres of space. Pick up pass. Oh, what are you doing? Matthews. Careful of you, man. I'm watching you, Matthews. Anyway, Brooke, is he through on goal? No, he's not. Almost was, though. Richards kicks it long. It's all over the place this game, isn't it? Oh, no. He's through. He's, he's... Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, my God. This... this is a game of disasters, this is. This is an absolute disaster. What is going on here? What is going on? What is going on? We've seen five goals in this episode. We scored six goals, to be fair. We've seen five goals in this episode. Very, very questionable defending here, especially for our best player of the season as well, Dinze. What is going on here? This has been a terrible game. I said, tactically, it's been terrible for me. Uh, yeah. But let's be honest, do we deserve to win the game? No, definitely not. Definitely not. But anyway, I did say at the start of the episode, four points out of this episode today, and I'll be very happy with that. And, uh, We've got just that four points out of the episode. It's second place York and third place not County. Well, second place not County now, but defensively it was an absolute shambles today. Absolute. Look at the state of the back five today. Absolute shambles. That's why the, the team's been let down as well. Uh, right as well with a shocking rain there, six point three. Absolutely abysmal. It just was not a good performance, was it? Not a good performance at all. Um, looking at the match stats here, we actually created more chances than Notts County, but seventy percent possession they had. Unbelievable. Um, Probably should have just stuck with the counter-attacking style, to be honest. But saying that, after I changed the control possession, we got two more goals. So I have no idea. I just, um, yeah, I said I just, I just went for it in today's game, changed things a few times, and uh, I guess I got a little bit of result in the game because we did not play well and we scored, still scored three goals. But defensively, an absolute shambles in today's game. But all in all, very happy with this episode. Four points out of the episode. Got to be happy with that. But this game was not too well, not too well at all. But. We'll move on. We'll move on very quickly. So, said four points out of the episode. I am happy with that. We're only four points clear at the top. Now, Chesterfield out of nowhere there. Enoch Asante's new team. Charters. Oh, that's disappointing as well. Charters out with a broken toe. Seven to nine weeks. That's really disappointing. He's a key player for us. He is Charters. So, that is not good news. Not good news at all. But anyway, in terms of lead tails, so we're four points clear at the top now. Of course, it was six points, but... After joining the Notts County there with four points clear at Chesterfield instead of coming out of nowhere there. Plus five goal difference. You've got a big gap between us and Chesterfield. You get them falling away from home as well. So that was very nice. Talking to Chesterfield, I think they'll feature in the next episode as well. They will do. They will feature in the next episode. We've got a new second place team. We started off with York. Then I went to Notts County. And now it is Chesterfield. So in the next episode, guys, of course, I'll be playing Aston Villa at home in the FA Cup third round. A Premier League team. Can we pull off a massive upset there? Well... You'll find out in the next episode, I guess. And then home to Chesterfield as well, who are the new second place team. Whether they'll be second place or not by that game is not is a different question. Only got two games to play for the next episode. Away to Boreham Wood, who are sitting 20th in the league, so hopefully we can beat them. And at home to East, who are sitting 16th. So nothing less than six points in the next two uh, next two games there is uh, is needed, of course. But anyway, make sure you join me the next episode, guys. Aston Villa at home, a Premier League team in the FA Cup, and Chesterfield at home in the league. And thank you guys for watching this video. Please remember, guys, if you like this video, hit that like button for me. And also, if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. It uh, really helped me out. I much appreciate it as well. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.